Hey everyone, my name is Sean, and I want to thank you for joining me on the first installment of a brand new series that the Wichita State University Rocket Club is starting called Rocket Recap. This series will provide a way for all you viewers to stay up to date on what the club is doing each week. That includes meeting topics, lab hours, and other special events that you might have missed throughout the week. We will also be reminding you about upcoming events and meeting agendas. Just subscribe to our YouTube channel to get the latest. So without further delay, let's dive on in. On last week's meeting on October 22nd, we continued the process of selecting a final design for our Agonia Cup rocket. Each of the designers presented their concepts with a more in-depth explanation of their designs, as well as showing off concept designs in Open Rocket. After that, the club went on to vote for the design that they thought would be the best one based on several criteria, such as complexity, how easy it was to work on, and how likely it would be to win the competition. In the end, there was a tie between a folding wing glider and a quadcopter inside a rocket. While there are still some decisions to be made about the final payload delivery method, the club decided that it would figure those out further down the road and will begin, to proce begin the process of splitting up into teams to start work on various aspects of the design. Hopefully this will help to decide which payload delivery method will be more effective choice. Also discussed at the meeting was the arrival of more t-shirts for the members of the club. While it's not guaranteed that we're hoping to have shirts for everyone who has paid their dues by the club competition. Don't forget, new members will have to pay $20 and returning members are only $10. If you would like an additional shirt, one can be purchased for $10 per extra shirt. All dues can be paid to Ryan, the club treasurer. Don't wait around because paying your dues guarantees that you get a t-shirt as well as a spot in the club competition. Speaking of the club competition, lab hours were held throughout the week for people to get started on their club comp rockets. Make sure to show up to labs when possible to get help with your design, get your materials, and begin construction on your rocket once your design has been approved. Although the club comp is still a couple weeks away, we encourage that you do not wait until the last day to get your rocket built. I know the procrastinator's lifestyle, so at least have your rockets built before the day of the competition rather than the morning of. Lastly, the club went to a rocket launch on Saturday. While we didn't launch anything as a club, it's still fun to go and see all the interesting rockets and learn new things from the people there. After the launch, it's tradition to meet for lunch at a nearby Brahms before heading back home. I encourage any new members to go whenever you can, both for the experience as well as the enjoyment. A reminder about a few upcoming events. Don't forget that the club comp is only a few weeks away and to make sure that you work on your rockets. Also, those who haven't paid their dues should get those to Ryan as soon as possible. And lastly, be thinking about what parts of the Argonia Cup rocket that you want to work on because we'll be splitting into groups at the upcoming meeting. Groups includes things like electronics, structures, and aerodynamics. And we can't forget about the all-important acronym group. Thanks for tuning in to our first installment of Rocket Recap, and we hope to see you from now on every Sunday. Until then, make sure that you like the video if you want to see more, and subscribe. Don't forget to enable notifications if you want to stay up to date on when we post anything here on the channel. Until next time, take it easy, have a blast.